Thank you all very much for coming out, and uh, particularly short notice since we just announced this yesterday. Uh, it's uh, a real thrill, uh, I think, for every Giants fan and certainly for the elected officials uh, here at City Hall uh, to uh, announce uh, formally uh, the trophy tour uh, that uh, we'll, bringing, we'll be bringing this trophy to a city and town and county near you. But the first stop on the tour temporarily is here with the kickoff of the official tour, uh, the visa tour, uh, in uh, early January. In fact, January 4th and 5th, uh, the tour will be celebrating your birthday uh, and the Giants World Series victory uh, here at City Hall and making its way to Sacramento uh, and all throughout the northern part of the state uh, and actually going over the state border uh, as Bill and Larry uh, will fill you in in a moment. Uh, just very briefly, um, we're honored uh, to have the trophy here as a preview of that tour, uh, available uh, for your viewing pleasure uh, and for your photographic memories. Uh, we will have this trophy available uh, here for a few hours this afternoon before we head off with Mayor Cluck, Mayor of Arlington, who was kind enough to join us here today. If you can give a round of applause to the Mayor. To fulfill, to fulfill the mayor's burden, his obligation, and that is settling the bet between the city and county of San Francisco and the people of Texas. We're not going to rub it in anymore, but the World Series trophy is here for his viewing pleasure as well. Uh, and uh, we'll be down with uh, Bret Hart School, and the mayor will uh, be the manager as will I for our home and visiting team uh, with the Junior Giants. Uh, and we'll be playing a game at 1.45, 2 o'clock to 3. Uh, and he'll fulfill his community service. My kind of community service uh, is being out there with the kids and the Junior Giants. And I want to thank the Giants organization for allowing us to make that bet and allowing us to fulfill the bet in an appropriate manner. And we're so proud of our Junior Giants and the Community Fund of the Giants, which goes back to 1994. And Bret Hart, for what it's worth, was one of the adopted schools when the Community Fund was established. And uh, that fund is making a difference in the lives of literally thousands and thousands of children all throughout this state and across uh, some of the border states. And I'm really proud of the Giants for doing good work in the community uh, and celebrating this victory for us. Uh, it is my pleasure, you didn't come here to, uh, to see me or hear me, I know you came here to see this trophy and to hear uh, from the team and it's always a great honor to have Bill Newcomb here and the great Larry Bear, both recipients not just a World Series trophy and soon a World Series ring but also both with the key to our city. Bill Newcomb on behalf of the team if you can come up. And Nobody wants to follow that guy to a microphone, do they? And then to be followed by the great Larry Bayer. So I will try to get to the point. Uh, it's a special pleasure, Mayor Newsom, to be back here in your building. Um, we were here just, what, six weeks ago outside this magnificent building. And we had just come from a, a wonderful parade witnessed by over a million folks full of joy. Uh, appreciating what the Giants baseball team had accomplished this year and in the postseason. And it is great to be back here and see inside of this amazing building and to be able to announce this World Champions Trophy Tour. Uh, we are still, we are still overjoyed and we're proud and we are humbled by what the baseball team accomplished for this community and for its fan base all over the world. We are also very, very appreciative of what this city and this community and our fan base have done for this team and the support that you have shown us for a long time. I don't think anybody in the Giants organization could possibly have estimated 
the kind of outpouring of support that we would feel and see during the last two months of the season. It was magnificent, it was resolute, and it had a real effect on us. I remember Brian Sabian saying to me on the steps outside, Mr. Mayor, these ball players have no idea the breadth of the fan base. They may on a good day come and play in front of 42 or 43,000 fans, but they don't understand how broad and how deep that fan base is. And we all understood it and we were touched by it. And we have all waited, have we not, a good long time for this trophy to get here. And so this seemed to us, this seemed to us, players, front offices, everybody at the Giants, this seemed to us the time to show our gratitude and to show it in the best way we could, which is to take this handsome trophy, which says it all, to take it out into Giants country and to give all of you a chance to get up close and personal with it, take photographs with it and see it for what it is and remind, remember what it is that we did to get it. We won, but we won as a team. We played baseball the right way. We were respectful of our opponents and we still are. So this is the announcement of the World Champion Trophy Tour. The tour is sponsored by Visa. It involves a very handsome Toyota truck parked just outside there in a permit zone, which you will see on your way out. And that truck is going to take this trophy all over Northern California, Central California, Southern Oregon, Western Nevada. And the trophy is also going down to spring training. And in January, we'll have its first visit to New York City, where we're going to stir up a lot of our fans from New York. And in the spring, it goes to Cooperstown and Troy, where the franchise was founded years ago. As the mayor said, we'll be back here January 4 for the first stop on that tour and then off to 35 cities and you'll hear more about those details shortly from Larry Bayer. Before closing, let me just tell you what we've been up to since we saw you here on November 3rd. Uh, there is no off season in baseball in terms of the amount of work that has to be done by the baseball folks and by the rest of us. Uh, most people's celebration ended right after that parade. Some people had put in long hours between the landing of the plane from Arlington, Mr. Mayor, and the parade. Everybody was hard at work by November 4th. And the point is that there's no room for complacency. This is too competitive a game. We've raised the expectations of our community and fan base and we want to try to deliver by continuing to be contenders for postseason baseball year in and year out. The baseball folks turned immediately to an analysis of the 2010 season. How did we get it done? How can we do it again? And they have been hard at work planning for the 2011 season. The good news is that we should be back for 2011 with essentially the same team that won it all in 2010. We have outstanding young starting pitching. We have one of the great we have one of the great closers in baseball. We have a very strong, we'll have a very strong bullpen again. We have the rookie of the year catcher. We have position players who make a difference and we're delighted to be able to come to terms with Aubrey Huff and have him back with us. And the same, and the same for Mike Fontenot and for Pat the Bat Burrell. We're also delighted that we will have Miguel Tejeda playing shortstop for us this year. Many of you know him from his all-star years across the Bay at Oakland. He couldn't be more enthusiastic. He's in great shape and he's ready to be our shortstop and to be a part of another winning season for us. We have just two short months before our pitchers and catchers will report for duty at, in Scottsdale and start the process. We have shut them down for much of November because of a long season and a stressful last two months. They are all cranked back up again, getting into great baseball shape. They'll come into Scottsdale ready to play spring training baseball and we can't wait to start Scottsdale and we can't wait to have a championship season here in San Francisco next year. Thank you all for being here and thank you for your support. Larry. Thank you very much, Bill, and thank you to once again to the mayor of San Francisco, Mayor Newsom, and a, 
a special appreciation from the Giants to, and I know many of you are here today, to the city department heads, members of city agencies, uh, members of the Board of Supervisors, who were so integral in helping us with all of the civic activities around the Giants this year, and especially that day on November 3rd, where you were willing to turn the city inside out to accommodate a wonderful civic celebration. So thank you very much to the city and county of San Francisco. Well, we could not have, have asked for a more beautiful showcase and a more beautiful setting to showcase the trophy than here in, uh, in City Hall. And in just a, a little bit, we'll have a chance for all of you to go over to the light court here and have your picture taken with the trophy. Uh, we wanted to acknowledge, Bill mentioned the, uh, the wonderful truck. We want to acknowledge the Visa and our, our longtime sponsors, Visa and Toyota's contributions. They are the sponsors of the trophy tour. Visa is the official sponsor, and Toyota is providing the official transportation for the trophy. So thank you to Visa, and thank you to Toyota. I'd like to acknowledge representatives here. I'd like to welcome Chris Cronin and or Trey Curtola. Could you raise your hand? There you are from uh, Toyota. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for your support of the, of the trophy tour, Toyota. Just a little bit about the specifics of the tour. As Bill mentioned, we begin here on, on uh, the beginning of the year, January 4th and 5th. We will be, be here in, the, in City Hall for those of you that do not get a chance to have your, your photograph with the trophy today. Then we're off to Sacramento to the state capitol on January 6th. And from there, we will go throughout northern and central California. I won't go through every, every location, but we will cover the Central Valley. We will go north of Sacramento. We'll go through the north coast, through the Sierra Nevada, down the central coast, the North Bay, really bringing the trophy to Giants fans throughout this region. As you know, there are Giants fans in a lot of places not in this region, and we are going to make some detours. We are going to bring the trophy to Troy, New York. I don't know if any of you know the, uh, the significance of Troy, New York, but Troy, New York is actually where the very first team wearing the name Giants played prior to, uh, tri prior to the Giants at Polo Ground. So we will go there. That will be coupled with a trip to Cooperstown. And we, of course, will go to New York City as well to bring the trophy to our friends in New York City, the former home of the Giants franchise. A complete listing of all the communities and the dates are in the press kit uh, available to you. Uh, each stop, just a little bit of, about what happens when the trophy arrives in the community, each stop is scheduled to last approximately two hours. And we'll do our best to accommodate everybody on a first-come, first-served basis. The viewings are free to the public. And there will be an opportunity for a professional photo to be taken of you, the fan, with the trophy. And they'll be available, those photos will be available for purchase online. So once again, the test run, the first kickoff to, uh, to the trophy tour will be today, right over here in the light court from 1 to 3 p.m. It's actually right over here, sorry. From 1 to 3 p.m., the trophy will be here. We're anxious to get started. We're anxious to bring the trophy to the Giants fans everywhere, the best fans in baseball. Thank you very much. I don't know what more we can add that uh, hasn't been stated, but I just again want to express our appreciation to the Giants for their willingness to preview the tour here today uh, at our own city hall. Thank you all again for uh, making this city uh, what it is, because without the fans, uh, the uh, Giants organization uh, would not be what it is. Uh, World Series champions would not be in this city had it not been for the extraordinary fan base and your enthusiasm and your energy. And I could just say this as a... Um, I think a fifth generation Giants fan. I'm trying to work on the math. Perhaps it's probably only, I, I can only attest to my grandfather. I knew he was. Uh, but uh, uh, 
as someone that has loved the Giants, the, the sense of spirit and pride we all have and that we all share that's still with us today is a pretty extraordinary and powerful thing. And it is a remarkable thing to see what sports can actually do to a community and how it can elevate people. And for those that dismiss it, uh, don't do it so lightly. Uh, this has been a big deal in bringing strangers together and bringing people together uh, from all over, not just this region, this state, and some of the Western states, but as we've discovered from all over the nation and people around the world that actually came in on a moment's notice uh, for that parade and are sharing memories back at home with their friends and family. So to the Giants, thank you for the extraordinary memories. Uh, thank you for uh, your proud past, the extraordinary present that we're enjoying. Uh, and here's to uh, a great, because you always have to be looking forward to an exciting 2011 season. Thank you all for coming out today.